Lord, for the day, brothers and sisters, today I was reading the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 35. The chapter is full of many deaths. Verse 8, we see Rebecca's nurse dying. Verse 18, we see the death of Rachel. And in verse 29, we see the death of Isaac. Today, yes, reading in this chapter of the book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 35, speaks of much of death. Death is a reality for all of us. We know Romans 6.23 tells us that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to get to that in a little while. As I get older, I see more and more people that I loved passing away. In 1986, my grandmother passed away. 2006, my aunt, the only aunt I really knew, passed away. My dad in 2008 passed away. My younger brother passed away in 2013. And then just last year, 2020, my mom passed away. Recently, last week, I went to the wake of a 20-year-old man, young man in my church, used to grow up in my church, passed away. So death is not discriminate. It comes to white people, black people, old people, young people, male, female, unsaved and saved. The difference is for us as Christians who follow Jesus Christ is that we have a hope. We do not mourn like the world does when somebody dies. When I go to a funeral and I look at that person dead in the casket, a lot of times I say, where is that person now? If you knew that person who truly went home to be with the Lord, we do not mourn like those who mourn in the world who have no hope. First Thessalonians chapter 4 Verse 13 tells us that just before the rapture is spoken about in that chapter of scripture, it says that we do not mourn like those in the world. We have a hope in Christ. When Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, was at the tomb of Lazarus in John chapter 11, it says that Jesus wept in verse 35, the shortest verse in the Bible. But a little before that, in verse 25 and 26, Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me... Though they die, yet shall they live. And I believe one of the reasons why Christ wept, yes, he was grieving over the loss of his friend, but I do believe he was also grieving over the unbelief of those around him. Oftentimes when you go to a funeral in the back of a card, you'll see Matthew chapter 5, verse 4. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. I do believe what Christ was speaking about there in the Beatitudes was the fact that we should mourn not so much over the loss of a loved one that's true but we should mourn and grieve over sin what sin has done in this world but enough with the sadness i want to end on a positive note in verse 19 of genesis chapter 35 we are told that rachel was buried after she died in the town of bethlehem here in the old testament bethlehem in the context of this part of scripture, we see somebody being buried in Bethlehem. And we know that in the New Testament, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ would be born in the town of Bethlehem. Acts chapter 3 verse 15 tells us that Christ is the Prince of Life. Jesus Christ told us in John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. My friends, we have more than conquering power, Romans 8, 37 to 39 tells us through Christ that neither death nor life, nothing could separate us from the love of God that's in Jesus Christ. For us as Christians, when we die, brothers and sisters, we know that our true citizenship, Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21 tells us is in heaven. Heaven, Revelation 21, verse 4 tells us is a place where there'll be no more pain and suffering. So for us, this is our hope, my brothers and sisters. Let us encourage others and spread the gospel. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Please read those scripture verses. Read what the gospel truly is. And let us have our hope in Christ, even in the light of death, even when we have to face death. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ who will see this devotional video today on social media. Lord, I pray that you would give them all a hope in the face of death. As Psalm 23, verse 4 tells us, Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, because you, O Lord God, are with us. You lead us and guide us, even through death. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters. And remember, if you're truly trusting in Christ, even in death, it is gain. It's victory. More of an eternal, abundant life where there's no more pain and suffering.